picture this. The Allianz Arena packed with Bayern fans, electric with anticipation for a Champions League semi-final showdown. Every pass, every tackle, every moment charged with the weight of history. Among all the excitement, one name stood out, Vinicius Jr. The talented Brazilian player made football history again, performing amazingly for Real Madrid against the strong team Bayern Munich. But it wasn't just about the game, but the pulsating energy that swept through the stadium, the collective heartbeat of fans longing for glory. Vinicius wasn't just good, he was spellbinding. From the Spanish media to his coach, Carlo Ancelotti, accolades poured in like confetti at a championship parade. Even his compatriot Rodrigo couldn't help but sing his praises. So, what does this mesmerizing performance mean for Vinicius as the season hurtles towards its climax? Will he be the hero to lead Real Madrid to Wembley? Or will Bayern rally back and snatch victory from the jaws of defeat? But let's rewind a bit. Bayern came out of the gates like a storm, leaving Real Madrid scrambling. It was a rocky start for the Spanish giants, reminiscent of their struggles earlier in the season. Yet, when opportunity knocked, they answered emphatically, drawing first blood despite Bayern's early dominance. So, what lies ahead for Vinicius and the Galacticos? Are they destined for glory, or is more drama yet to unfold? I'm eager to hear your take on this captivating chapter in the beautiful game. When Bayern Munich relaxed and Real Madrid gained some control, Bayern made a big mistake. They let Cruz have too much freedom. With a pass straight out of a movie, Cruz found Vinicius with plenty of space to run into. Despite facing one of the best goalkeepers ever, Vinicius stayed cool and scored a fantastic goal, putting Real ahead. Cruz's pass was terrific. He found Vinicius quickly and I can't decide if it was more Cruz's skill or Vinicius had planned it all along. It was a clever move, with Vinicius drawing away a defender, leaving space for Cruz's pinpoint pass. It mainly was Cruz's brilliance, but Vinicius deserves credit for calmly slotting the ball past Neuer, one of the most brutal keepers to beat in a Champions League semi-final. Vinicius's first goal was even compared to one Cristiano Ronaldo scored at the same stadium in 2014, when he also outwitted Neuer to score for Real Madrid. At the time, the journalist from Marca, Juan Ignacio, commented, Vinicius has a huge mural of Cristiano Ronaldo decorating his training gym. He has imitated his idol since the Champions League anthem was played. His body language when the camera passed took us back to 2014, to the night when the Portuguese winked before extinguishing the Allianz Inferno with a brace. The same thing Vinicius did, saving Real Madrid just like Cristiano used to. He saved the night in Munich with two goals and left Real alive for the return leg at the Santiago Bernabeu. And indeed, the place where Vinicius trains has an image of Cristiano at the moment of the Champions League anthem. Vinicius also smiled, just like Cristiano used to. Today, he wears the same legendary number seven shirt as his idol, and there is certainly no one better than him to wear it. In the post-match interview, Cruz humbly shared his thoughts giving a lot of credit to Vinicius for their first goal. Despite his brilliant pass, Cruz insisted that Vinicius played a crucial role in setting up the play. He acknowledged the ups and downs of Champions League matches, emphasizing the importance of scoring when the team has control. Cruz recognized Vinicius's intelligence and movement, which made his pass possible. He highlighted Vinicius' ability to be fast and strategic in his positioning on the field. Cruz downplayed his contribution, suggesting that the pass wasn't extraordinary. Vinicius' movement made it work. Additionally, Rodrigo chimed in, 
critiquing Real Madrid's performance in the second half, explaining the penalty incident, and praising Vinicius Jr.'s exceptional performance. ¿Qué análisis haces de, de un partido cambiante eh, y, y apareció Vinicius eh, también para, para poder llevarse por lo menos este empate que los deja bien parados para la vuelta de la semana que viene? Bueno, partido difícil, ¿no? Como una, una semifinal de Champions contra Bayern aquí eh, en Alemania siempre siempre muy difícil, pero bueno, hemos jugado bien, hemos empezado muy bien, luego en la segunda parte hemos dormido un poco y eso no puede pasar, pero bueno, menos mal que, que al final pude sufrir el penalti y vine y convirtió. Y ahora estamos vivos y se juega todo en el Bernabéu. ¿Cómo fue esa jugada del penalti? Porque eh, vine y la tira y tú encuentras el lugar justo para que Kim min te, te, te cometa la falta, la infracción. Sí, que era un momento del partido que yo estaba más por la derecha y no sé, me pasó en la cabeza ir un poco a la, a la izquierda y yo fui, vine y me, me encontró, yo iba a girar, iba a salir solo, pero luego me toca y bueno, fue penalti y ya está. ¿Empiezas a sentir que se, se arma ese, ese aura con Real Madrid desde hace rato? Que si, aunque las cosas salgan mal, no se pierde. Eh, cuando, aunque las cosas vayan a contramano, siempre aparece un gol. Eh, bueno. ¿Ese Real Madrid está, está apareciendo esta temporada también? Sí, yo creo que aunque las cosas salgan mal, estamos siempre centrados, ¿no? Estamos siempre ahí listos para, para lo que viene. Sabemos que todo, todo puede pasar. Así como estábamos bien y luego encajamos dos goles. Entonces, al revés puede ser, puede ser lo mismo. No está, muchas veces no estamos bien, pero parece que no estamos bien, pero siempre estamos muy concentrados y creo que eso, esa es la clave. Eh, la última, eh. allí está Vinicius, tu compañero, tu amigo. Eh, ¿Qué puedes decir de él? MVP del partido, marcó goles importantes eh, y, y está claro que se complementan a la perfección, ¿no? Nah, es, un, es un crack, todo, todos los partidos demuestran eso, está cada, cada vez en un nivel mejor. Bueno, espero que, que él siga así, espero que siga nos ayudando, que tenemos muchas cosas para vivir juntos. Vinicius is having an incredible season, especially in crucial matches for Real Madrid. His stats speak for themselves. He scored four goals and provided one assist against Barcelona, one goal and two assists in a face-off with Jonas for La Liga leadership, and three assists in both games against Manchester City. And now, against Bayern Munich, he's scored two vital goals. While his overall season numbers might not match up to Mbappé and Kane, it's essential to note that he's been directly involved in 13 goals in decisive matches, which can bring titles to Real Madrid. Vinicius has been on fire this season in the Champions League, scoring an impressive 20 goals already. In his last 33 games, he's been a total game changer, scoring 16 goals and setting up 15 assists. Even Real Madrid coach Ancelotti couldn't help but praise his outstanding performance. Despite facing some challenges, like a slump in the second half of their recent match, Ancelotti highlighted the team's resilience. He's confident they'll bring their A-game in the next game at the Bernabeu. Vinicius came through for us today, scoring two crucial goals and adding a lot of energy to our attack. It was his first time facing Bayern Munich, but he handled it well, even under intense pressure. He reminded me of another famous number seven, and I couldn't be prouder of him. What I appreciate most about Vinicius is how he keeps the other team's defense on their toes, always looking for ways to create scoring opportunities for us. He even talked about what it felt like to score against Manuel Neuer, one of the greatest goalkeepers ever. Vinicius also shared his thoughts on the draw with Bayern and looked ahead to the next match at the Santiago Bernabeu. Ah, muito feliz com os gols de hoje, muito feliz com com a atuação da equipe. É, a gente sempre fala aqui dentro do do vestiário que o importante nessa competição é você não perder. Então, hoje não perdemos, empatamos. É, na, no segundo tempo que jogamos mal e temos que melhorar para para volta mas muito feliz porque sabemos que o jogo em casa é, é completamente diferente junto com a com a nossa torcida junto com o apoio de de todos os nossos familiares de de perto né é melhor para nós e temos que, que entrar concentrado para para ir a Londres Vini, um, um jogo difícil, tua primeira vez aqui neste estádio, a torcida pressiona bastante por aqui, mas tua primeira vez aqui e dois gols contra um dos gole melhores goleiros do mundo. Ah, eu fico muito feliz de, de seguir evoluindo, seguir 
é, fazendo gols importantes com essa camisa que é, que é a maior do mundo. Então eu tenho que, que seguir pouco a pouco porque estou apenas começando, quero fazer muito mais gols e entrar para a história desse clube é, em um campo difícil contra uma excelente equipe onde a, a torcida pressiona muito e, como você falou, contra, com, contra um dos melhores goleiros de, de todos os tempos. Despite Vinicius having a fantastic season, some people still think Jude Bellingham might be ahead of him for the Ballon d'Or. But honestly, Vinicius is doing well. It's unfair that he hasn't gotten the credit he deserves in past awards. If Real Madrid wins the Champions League, who would be the main reason, Vinicius or Jude? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Prestigious Sport, for more updates. Thanks for watching.